Texas top 100 transportation challenges were released today in a report from a national nonprofit research group. Their study revealed a dozen of those highway trouble spots are right here in Central Texas. New at 9 tonight, KXAN's Casey James goes in depth showing you the worst being targeted. Talk to top transit leaders and they'll tell you as go Texas roads, so goes our economy. 60% of goods shipped in Texas are carried by trucks. And with so many trucks on the road, that leads to a lot of congestion, which you probably sit in every day. And it's expected to get worse. Of the top 100 transportation challenges identified in the trip report, 12 are located here in the Austin area. One of the worst, I-35 between SH-71 and US 183. Solutions include additional lanes, express lanes, ramp and intersection improvements. Congestion on SL-1 from US 183 to US 290. That stretch of Mopac is another area of concern, in part to the limited right-of-ways. But the top roadway woe in Austin is US 290 between Mopac and RM 1826. Research shows there is no emergency vehicle access, a lack of shoulders, and no alternative routes. The amount of funding available falls far short of what is needed to address those needs. And unless Texas can increase transportation funding at the state, local, and federal level, many of these critically needed improvements will be left stranded on the drawing board. Something those dealing with it directly every day do not want to see. We have a lot of accidents here. Al Diaz makes his living delivering pizzas in the area and says traffic is terrible. It's very difficult by this time. You don't get better until around 8 p.m. Diaz says with so many cars and limited lanes, people drive down the turn lane causing accidents, something Isaac Fisher knows firsthand. I actually got to an accident right here, just trying to get out. And somehow we're going to have to uh, find a way to fix the road. Casey James, KXAN News.